Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my Twisted Life TV. I'm Poetry. You are here for a Travel and Talk Tuesday. <clears throat> um, I'm going to get out of the sun in a little bit. And I'm late for work, as always. Which actually I did not have intention on being. Uh, at 7.20, I was leaving my house. 7.20, I was leaving my house, but I wanted to pay my water bill. Because... Orlando utilities, they don't give you no grace period, it seems. Last month, my water got cut off. My bill was $25. I just be forgetting to pay it because it's not that I can't afford to pay it. I just forget to pay it. Because back in St. Louis, we pay water bill every four months. Four times a year is when we paid our water bill. This paying every month, I still have not got used to it. So I think I've been late at least nine out of the 12 months that I've been here paying this bill and last month they was like okay be late this month cut your shit off i think i had left the house and i wasn't gone from the house a good 15 minutes and my mama was like hey the water off i was like damn so i was trying to pay my water bill this morning and i couldn't find a fucking bill i swear every time i want to pay this water bill i can't find a bill so I, and i don't know the account number by heart so I remember the last time that the water got cut off that I had Kina text me um, the copy of the notice that they put on the door. So I was able to pay the bill from that and I thought about that and I was able to pull up the bill. Come on. Oh shit, kids crossing. I was able to pull up the bill um, and go online to try to pay it. And then I got online to try to pay it and it was like, okay, enter your credit card number in. And I'm going through my purse, not my purse, my phone that I've been using as my wallet. And my credit card is not there. Neither one, my credit card, nor my debit card. None of them was in the case as they normally are. And I just came, I'm like, what the freak is going on? So I still ain't paid my damn water bill. Then I got to the car and said, oh shit, there's my actual wallet. Let me check that. And I'd be damned if I didn't put my damn credit card and debit card back in my wallet. I swear I never do that. Because I don't carry my purse. My purse is, you know, my wallet is usually never with me. Um, when I get out of the car, I'm, if I even brought my purse with me, I have stuck it in the trunk. So all my cars that I'm using is inside my cell phone case. So I need to pay my water bill. Luckily, when I called the number, it wasn't telling them, it didn't give me that memo that says you in threat of disconnect. Actually said my bill wasn't due to the 8th, which is in a few days. Um, so that's a good thing. But it took me a while to get out the house. On top of the fact, I can't find my keys to the house again. I can't find them again. The set I got right now is the extra. I found the extra set. But my extra set ain't nothing but the car key. So if anybody leave out of that house and they lock the garage from the inside, I'm not going to be able to get in the house which my mama has been doing that lately. I don't know why. Cause we normally, you know, when somebody is in the house and like she'll be in the house um, and have the garage door locked. Cause like, we get in the, you know, the garage inside the house, the one that's out, you know, not the one that's exposed you to outside. And she, but she won't wake up <laughs> when you knocking or ringing the phone. She won't answer her cell phone or she won't answer the knocks. And then Kena, Kena's so used to um, me picking her up from work that she don't even bother to take her keys with her. So her keys be in the house. We just all screwed up in this family as far as the house keys go. So I'm just hoping that today that uh, my mama don't go nowhere and lock that uh, inside door before I get off work. Or, or Kena, you know, take her keys to work with her. I might have to text her to her take her keys to work with her. She had to go to work in another hour. I wish we was working closer to the same time frame that we, we could have both with at the same time. But I'm late now. Shit. Took me 15 minutes to figure out that my, my wallet was in the car with my debit card. But I still ain't found my keys. Look, I say, luckily, I happened to stumble across the extra set. And then I didn't have no change to get on the toll road. I got some cash, but I ain't got no change to get on the toll road. So I couldn't take that route. So I'm gonna be late.
as always as always I'll be damned fucking change where to change at in the same in the wallet I could have took the fucking toll road I could have been close to closer to being on time fuck it I'm just I'm just all messed up this morning so um if y'all haven't seen my short video that I did about Mr. Takatur um, passing away um, by committing suicide the other day. He did it on Halloween night, uh, Halloween day, I was on the 31st, I found that out. Um, they have a GoFundMe, his, his, I think it's his grandmother, but I know it's his family has the GoFundMe up to help pay for his funeral cost. Um, I saw the GoFundMe link through his ex-husband's page. And okay, pick a lane. Pick a motherfucker lane. So yeah, if y'all wanted to donate to his funeral fund, if you are aware of it, then you can go through the GoFundMe um through his I and mean, like I say I know it's through his husband's page. Um his ex-husband's page. And um Corey Kelly sings and you can donate to the GoFundMe but it is set up by by Mr. Taco Tour's uh, family they set the GoFundMe up because at first you know people was probably like why is his ex-husband got a GoFundMe his ex-husband just shared it he doesn't have it up there okay um so when when I found out about Mr. Taco Tour I had just had a troubling experience at work with death and I didn't want to tie them together because one is human death and the other was an animal death. Okay, so I'm at work walking out of this client's house and this little dog rolled up on me. I don't know what kind of dog it is. It's one of them little, look like a little toy puppy. Really small. It's, it's probably a grown dog, but it's so small. You know, I don't know if it's a Shih Tzu or a Chow Chow. No, it's not a child. Child look like the damn lions. But it's a little, he had a little bowls in his hair and everything. And I was like, who little dog is this? Is what I was thinking. But you know, sometimes them little dogs will come snap you on the back of your Achilles heel and fuck you up. So I still was trying to be mindful of the little dog. And so when I turned around, I was like, oh, who little dog is this? You know, the dog started running off and it decided to cross the street. Now where I'm stopped at, there's stop signs. So whoever coming through there have to stop. Well, this one lady came through and did not stop. And she slowed down, though, because she had to miss my car. Because I was kind of double parked in the street. She kind of missed my car. And I'm like, hey, 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 hey. So you could see this dog. She was, it was very far in front of her car. And even though she was like in a, a SUV, you should still be able to see that dog just by how far away it was from her car. When I started flagging her down, like, hey, 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 stop. She sped up. Sped up, y'all, and rolled right over this little dog. It was the f most traumatizing shit. Woo, I'm about to, I've been getting emotional. It was the most traumatizing shit that I've experienced in a while, except for when I ran over that damn beaver. Uh, I, I think I told, well, if you've been on my channel a while, you heard, remember when I was going to work and I ran over a fucking beaver. I think I was on camera when it happened. But this, like, the dog, his little body is twisted up and folded up. And I was screaming so goddamn loud. And by the time I realized, you know, she, she kept going. She kept going down the street. And I'm still screaming after her, like, hey, hey, you just hit this dog. Turned around, and the little girl whose dog it was, she had to be about 12, 13, 14 years old, was just appeared right there at the moment it happened and she was just like I just got home from school so I'm assuming she opened the door to get into the house and the dog dashed out and she was coming around to come get it that baby I, I couldn't do nothing but cry she was crying I, I think my scream might have scared her more because she didn't even realize what had happened because she saw him laying in the street but I don't think it registered her that that big ass SUV just rolled over her little damn dog I was emotional as shit. I had to call my boss and was like, hey, I need a moment. I need a moment to sit still. I'm trying to comfort this little girl. Her parents hadn't got home yet. And so the little girl wanted to pick the dog up to take the dog home, right? So um we trying to she trying to she going for it, but she can't, you know, it's like I can't touch it. 
she didn't want to touch her. But when she finally did, the dog moved. It was still kind of alive, but that dog wasn't going to make it. That baby was going to make it. And more when she did that, she had to drop the dog back because she just screamed. And then I screamed again. So I tried to go to my car and get something to carry the dog in so she ain't got to hold it in her hands. But by the time I did that, she eventually picked the dog back up. And I was like, okay, you want me to you know, get the family who did it? The fuck you blowing at? Stupid ass. Everybody in front of us at the red goddamn light. Can't stand these people in this fucking city. Um. So. Oh. That made me stop crying. Bitches. But they, uh. Did the lady took the fuck off, right? So I went down there. Because the little girl was like, no, she didn't want to, like, contact anybody. Or, or talk to the family or whatever or do anything but her parents may have gone to when they got home so I followed the lady down to her house and but she didn't get out of her car like like I wasn't gonna try to like um address her myself because it wasn't my dog and I, like I said I didn't know what the hell they wanted to do I, I don't even know what to do in them situations you call the police when somebody hit a dog I don't know um so I, t I just took a picture of her license plate and everything but she sat in that car until I pulled off because I was like is she going to the house I think she was trying to get into the garage but her family members already had their cars in the garage so she was just sitting there in her driveway when, with her car still running and then when I finally started to pull off she got out the car and like jogged into the house I was like she knew she did it she knew she did she probably felt that traumatized the fuck out of me like I said I know when I hit that beaver that traumatized the fuck out of me. Like, my whole car lifted up. It's just, oh. What? You, oh, shit, now she want to talk shit because she going to pass me. Because, bitch, I can talk shit this morning. I'm in the motherfucking mood. Now you're going to try to speed up? Because I can talk shit back right, right with you. Ignorant ass motherfucker. Now you stuck at this red light with me. With me. You have issues? You want to talk about them? I didn't think so. So, as I was saying, I didn't want to count the dog as part as the human number because you know we always say the death comes in threes and I was like I didn't want to count the dog as that but I was I, I was thinking as soon as I heard about Ty I was like who else is it going to be because they normally come in threes they normally come in threes my auntie out of LA just had surgery um, breast cancer surgery um, my mama said she made it through that fire um, so okay she was off my list as far as worry um, but then yesterday I think I was I don't know if I was out of the store. I was out doing something. I went to go, to go pay the rent. I don't know what I did yesterday. I was out doing something yesterday. I just went to the store. Oh, I went to my doctor's appointment. That's what it was. And so I was talking to my mama on the phone. And she was like, oh, I got some bad news for you. And I'm like, can you wait till I get home? Like, what the fuck? Like, why do people want to give you notices of, of, of bad shit happening while you out and about and then you know doing whatever you can work it wait till you get home because there's nothing that's going to change from the time that you got home or from the time that you they found out till you got home they why, why fuck upset you doing your day but I was like fine what is it you know damn what is it found out that my other aunt passed two weeks ago now this was a um growing up you know I had like a we had like a, a tight tight ass neighborhood clique and I found out that one of the girls in the neighborhood was kin to one of my family members one of my cousins so by extension I started kind of call, we started calling each other's extended family cousins as well um so like basically her her dad was my, one of my cousin's cousins so she became my cousin her cousins became my cousins all they mamas became my aunties they called me their nieces that's how we all connected in that manner i just found out she passed two weeks ago um my cousin didn't say anything like um you know i mean it may be because i'm not in st louis either that she didn't say anything but she she went back from texas and they had the service to um for her mom, I 
want to say two weeks ago. But I found out, because um, my cousin called my mom and told her yesterday that they're going to do a memorial service, a small one, on Sunday. Well, I'm going to already be in St. Louis. I'm going to be in St. Louis, though, but, the, but I, my flight leaves at 3.30 and the service is at 4. So I'm going to try to get with Southwest Airlines and see if I can go on a later flight without a change flight fee. And, and stay for memorial service but my cousin I think if my mother um, relayed the message correctly which she had the time and only I'll ever do um, my cousin said that she would be at the facility earlier so if I wanted to come earlier before I got on my flight then I could do that and so that's my third one I, like I said I don't want to count the dog but I'm going to count the dog because that's three 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 that I learned about in a row? Damn. The dog happened. Tyree happened Thursday. I didn't find out on Thursday. I found out Saturday. Oh, this ignorant bitch right here. This is still her right here. She gonna make me get out and beat the sleeves up off her motherfucking ass. She just tried to pull her car in front of me and jumped in. But I, I'm being diligent in the way that I drive. I'm not being aggressive today. But I will get out and beat the sleeves up off this home. I swear for goodness. Bam. I told you I just want to just take my car sometimes and just beat the shit out of somebody. And if I had time, I only got seven minutes to get to work. But if I had time, I would follow this bitch to her job. I swear for goodness. <sighs> my three. I, I, hope it, I hope I don't have another person, another human life. That I'm told about this week uh, as far as death is concerned. I swear though, I was like so wary about Kina. She went on a trip with her friends to Atlanta this weekend and they did a road trip, which I think was her first road trip with friends without me. So, but after I started hearing, uh, getting all these death notices and I was like, I'm, I'm worried about them getting to an accident, but they made it home safe. So, my Aunt Karen. Aunt Karen. I just want to beat the shit out of this dude. Oh, it's a dude? Is that a dude? Or is that a dude, bitch? Probably, whatever. Is it his, is he, he driving like he's scared now because I'm every turn he make, I'm making. But we just happen to be going to the same fucking place fucking coward ass bitch ass motherfuckers I can't stand people here in this city when they driving oh my god my, my peace of mind gonna be so much better when I when I leave this bitch so I made it to the doctor um this was for my like my regular checkups and shit like that made it to the doctors and I asked him about the pains in my legs and the stiffness I'm having in my body and why I'm having trouble moving through the day and getting up in the morning. And she actually said she ain't never heard nobody say it the, the way that I was describing it. I ain't never <laughs> heard it like that before. Um, usually, it, it's somebody that's dealing with back pain with these symptoms. And she tested me for my back and my mobility. And she said, oh, that is fine. But when she went to go move my legs and had me, like, bend it and fold it over, that shit brought tears to my eyes it's like like the shoot to pain only just shoots through so it's not something that's constant that i'm feeling but when she did it at that moment baby it triggered it i was like bitch i wanted to hit my doctor oh <sighs> but so we running a bunch of fucking tests on me trying to make sure i don't have blood clots in my legs my blood pressure was still a little high but she like yeah you could lose the weight and we and, Still ain't got to worry about putting on blood pressure medication. I took my A1 glucose test again to see how that's looking. Like, I, I could do the finger stick test all the time, and my glucose is perfectly fine when I do the stick test. But when I go and do the A1C test, where they do the, like, three-month history, it's always a high number for pre-diabetes. And, and we got diabetes in my family. I don't need to be, you know... I need to be mindful of that. And I know that I am at high risk with this weight that I'm carrying because I carry all the weight in my midsection. So, I got another damn 
person on my ass. And I want to slam on my brakes, but I'm not going to do that. Because the person in front of me just slammed on their brakes. I'd rather slap on mine. But, uh, y'all in my ass. Well, she, it's always a bitch. It's always a bitch that wanna, y'all hoes gonna get fucked up. <laughs> Ooh. And now we finna get on this highway. You better get off my ass, cause I will park. Get around this bend, get the sun out of my eyes, and then we continue on with the conversation. One thing I can't say about that damn white car. <laughs> and I had to say it was a fucking Toyota Camry. I swear, Kai Ramblin' K, she always had an issue with the fucking Toyota Camry. That was a fucking Toyota Camry. But the bitch that's on my ass right now was in the Camaro. And I'm having issues this morning because I don't like people riding my buttocks. Yeah, a fat fucker, bitch ass motherfucker. I have a very intimidating stare. You go past me. I, I need to stop. Oh, I need to work on my road rage. I need to work on my road rage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, so I'm on my way to work. Um, I wasn't on the schedule for the rest of this week. Um, cause I, I told him I needed a half a day yesterday and she took me off for the whole day and then I wasn't on the schedule for the day tomorrow or Thursday. I leave town Friday morning. Um, so I was like, damn, I ain't got to work all week. But then they called me and was like, nah, you need to come on in here, girl. I mean, which is, uh, thank you. Cause I needed at least a day or two or three. I need at least three days on this week's check. Uh, I'm going be fucked up. Luckily I'm not spending a lot of money in, in the STL shoddy. I'm just going to try to take care of my car, get my situation straight with the car. Um, and she's just playing musical fucking lanes. The, the, the damn Camaro bitch ain't nothing but two cars in front of me and she's steady just weaving back and forth and non-driving half a hole. And then look at this fool right here. Just watch how fast he come past. Bam. I'm doing 80 already. The speed limit is 65. Why are you going that fast on this fucking highway? These motherfuckers there. Oh, 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 oh. I love my life. I love my life. <sighs> so, yeah, my, my St. Louis trip, I gotta go to a memorial service. I um, get to sit down with my cousin. We're gonna have some breakfast or lunch or dinner. I don't know which one we're gonna do. I'm gonna meet up with her probably Friday or Sunday morning. Um, Friends, baby, not my friend, baby shower, bridal shower is Saturday. Um, my play sister, I talked to her. I'm not gonna be able to see her. I think I told her I was coming on eight, but she may not have remembered because I didn't ever mention it again. But she has a conference to go to, so I'm not gonna see her. Um, I plan on swinging by and at least saying hi to my sister. I don't know how many years it's been since I seen her. Probably three or four. I never, I didn't go see her at all while she was in jail. I thought, matter of fact, I think I only talked to her. Maybe one time while she was in jail, but she's out now. Um, sweet about to go see her at least once. And I think that's all I'm visiting. But my, my play brother, him and his wife about to have a baby on the 26th. I want to get him again. That's it. That's the that's the, the extent of my travel. Um, as far as visiting folks, it's cold there. I it's heard the snow on Halloween. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing too much of anything in the loop. I'm probably just gonna be in the hotel, relaxing, like I said, with my emos and my my, my Chinaman and my real white castles. That's right, lately I ain't been able to do nothing but eat white castles off the Aldi because they don't sell white castles here. And crystals ain't the same. If another motherfucker tell me crystals like white castles, I'm gonna punch them in their throat. Crystals and white castles are not the same at all. Not even close. And y'all disrespected the name by saying it. It's not the same. It's nine o'clock, eight o'clock now. Oh, daylight savings time. I need to change my dog on clock back in my car. Make it 
8 o'clock like the rest of the world. I got that extra hour of sleep, y'all. I got that extra hour of sleep. And yes, I know I'm behind on videos. I know I'm behind on videos. I haven't put a black lightning from the past two weeks. I haven't did This Is Us from last week. Um, I, I still never saw The Walking Dead. It's still not on On Demand from last week. But The Walking Dead from this week, I think it's up there. I haven't did that. And no, I have not watched Power yet. I have not watched Power or The Walking Dead simply for two reasons. Because people on social media don't know how to shut the hell up. Oh my goodness, I, everybody and their mama was sharing every single detail. And shout out to uh, Justin Blaze. He was like, hey, Poetry, if you ain't watched Power yet, stay off of you know, this right here because people talk about it already. And I think that was before midnight on Sunday. It was like, how, what they, how they watching it? And it only come on, it come on the app on midnight. They was already watching it Saturday night. But yeah, apparently people was already. They had it up, and they, and a lot of the reviewers, they had what was going on in the title of their video. It was like spoiler alert. You can't, don't even bother put that up there because they put it right in the title, the main plot of what happened in the episode. So I'm trying to forget half the stuff that I heard people say or saw people say. It's like hard to miss it when you own the internet. Like people say, just scroll on. You want read? It? How the fuck I'm gonna scroll on if I haven't read it? I, how I know I was supposed to skip it if I hadn't read it? Oh my god! So no, I ain't watched it yet. Y'all get it when y'all get it. I mean, I'm not too. Y'all got five fucking weeks between now and the next episode. Y'all get it when I give it to you. That's how I feel about it at this point. Um, but I, the only thing I know for certain that I want to catch up on for sure is Black Lightning. Um, maybe this is us. Because I had brought up a subject matter in the previous recap. And then they turned around the next episode and addressed it. So I was like, oh, damn. So I want to talk about that. But uh, I'm going to go straight down because these people here. These people here. This is a congested ass city. It's a congested ass city. So, um... Hopefully, I can get in and out of work with a sufficient amount of time. I still ain't figured out what's wrong with my car, y'all. We changed the gas cap. Um, the car's been reset. And every time I fill up gas, the gas light, error light comes back on. And the engine light is consistently on. It stays on. I don't know what's wrong with my vehicle transportation. I light is red and it's people blowing horns. I mean, people up there move. They just now moving, but the light is red. So even the people that's behind me blowing horns, you ain't going nowhere because our light is red. Just, mm -hmm. I don't know what I talked about in this doggone um, traveling talk, y'all. I'm just, I'm, I'm not in, the, I'm not in the best of head spaces. I'm just not. Oh my god, I feel like I want to fight everything and everybody. I don't know if I like my lip color either. Kena had this purple. This is really pretty purple. Mix it in with my Fenty. Oh, that smell lovely. It smell like bubble gum. So that's it, y'all. That's it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Um. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Having some road rage moments this morning because shit, just not in a good headspace. Not in a good headspace. I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a good day. See y'all in the next video. I don't know when the hell it'll be up, but it'll, it'll come eventually. One day soon. It'll come. Peace.